Right, hello again YouTube and uh, welcome to another video. We're doing a, a chassis repair today and I think and I'm hoping this is going to be the last of the major chassis repairs before we can get it on a, on the on a jig, on the rollover jig, uh, which is good news. So um, you'll see in the video how I attack this uh, centre chassis repair on the offside. I don't like welding upside down so I tend to attack from the top down so I, you see I cut a piece of floor out uh, repair the, the chassis then put the reinstate the piece of floor took on board last time I, when I did the other side uh, somebody suggested that the way I did it was more form than function and I should have overlapped something so I, I took that on board he's, he, he's correct with that after thinking about it so, so I did strengthen up this side and this side I've done slightly differently it kind of looks the same on the outside but um, it's a bit stronger. I put an extra gusset piece inside and overlap. So you'll see what I mean with that as we go. And uh, yeah, happy days. You'll see this is fairly straightforward. You, you see my uh, homemade metal brake gets uh, put into use. So that's good. It's uh, it's proving quite useful for a piece of something a bit out of scrap. So yeah, keep watching and you'll see what we do with this. On to the offside of the car. So here's our next section to tackle and as you can see if I don't get in my own light here it's pretty rotten just like the other side was but I think this chassis leg isn't quite as bad it looks pretty ropey there but we'll wait till we get into it but I don't think that's too horrendous I think we may be able to save that rather than we build a new one but we certainly need to cut this out and attack that and to do that I think we're going to be looking at because it's just below there there are rockies I think we need to cut out a section of floor here although it's not horrendous it's a bit of a re previous repair here but it's not too bad it's not epic but it's not too bad um, so cut a bit of floor out here into, the, into here somewhere Fill up the spot welds and see what we got below there. We shouldn't be too stingy with this cutting the floor out because I want to be able to put this back in one piece. So we'll uh, perhaps cut out a piece quite sizable just so to make sure we can reuse it. Right, first of all, sorry about this being in the way. Not a lot we can do about that. If I did the camera angle from the other side, we'd have my elbow instead. So hopefully this will be all right. Right, let's go hunting for spot wells. Right, that's highlighted a, a few obvious ones on this side. This side, I think we can see them. One there and there, there. There, we'll see what this is like when we pull it out. It seems a little bit corroded, but hopefully that's just surface corrosion. And we'll see what's going on with this piece here as well. I might sort that out while I'm at it. Right, spot well drill. I'll divot them with this first and then get the spot well drill on them. Right, I think we are nice and solid just there and we are solid here so we just need to replace the section so pretty much the same as it was on the other side right I'm gonna hack this out along here where it's good and along here and see what we got That, but it's not too bad. Right, the good news of that, we've got a fair bit of that we can overlap now. 
from this side and the overlap here so to put the put the strength back in it won't be exactly as Ford intended but will be probably stronger than what I did on the other side I'm not overly concerned about it being weak but it's not going to hurt to make this side a bit better I can certainly still make me shapes in that okay so I've got a bit of steel now which is longer <coughs> and wider than it needs to be this is to make the, sh um, the chassis repair section up with I've measured the steel it's 1.2 millimeters so i've got a piece here which is 1.2 mil thick as well so what i'm going to do is bend the oversized flange first then offer it up bend the next one down offer it up bend the next one across and along as we go in that way we can get the uh, shapes we're looking for and then we'll push in the 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 the, 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 the pressings that are in it over the vice um i'm doing this slide slightly differently can overlap it because it's quite a bit on this one and overlap it about an inch or so on that one then i'm going to build it in the structure as well from this one across to give it that extra strength uh, that ford intended okay so the first thing i'm going to do is bend an oversized flange on there we'll eventually cut this one back so something about an inch or so will do us i think perfect it was nicely. There we go, that's slightly over shape. Let's bend that back into touch. Right. Right, so what I'll do now is offer this up to the car and work out where our next bend needs to be. Right, so all I'm going to do is hold it against the chassis member like that and mark off where our next bend needs to be on both sides because it's not, it's not the same, so it's just easier to do it like this. So I'll do that now. Difficult to do it with you holding the camera at the same time. I'll, uh, I'll mark them off and then I'll show you what I mean. Right, so hopefully you'll be able to see this. So put a mark, a pen mark where that's going to line up to there. And then down there, hopefully you can see just as the bend comes around, there's another mark there. And there's a mark on that side as well. So we'll bend that across and then we'll do our next set of marks okay so here we are with the easy to see what i've done now so as as we mark on the top so i know how to line it up there's my mark for my bend and my mark for my bend on that side which is there or there about the same so I, i'll go with the same on it I, I thought they tapered off but it doesn't that much so we'll bend that now and that'll be our next section Right, same again, I'll mark it up on the car, um, hold it under the chassis now, mark the next bend, and now I know these do taper, so we'll, uh, I'll do that now, so I'll, put, I'll show you what I've done already, so I'll just go and do that and then come back again. Might have to bend this over with a couple of bits of angle now, angle now, because I'm struggling to get that into my brake, I think I need to rethink this brake. There we go, there's always a weight. Always obvious, but it's always awake. Right. Always about that. That should do us. Lovely. Now we can just trim that to suit. Right, so up against the car now. That fits snugly under there. It's snugly 
loosely snugly around that piece. This does lift up here, so we may have to uh, mess about with that to bring that to shape there. But that's not the end of the world. We probably only want to come across this about so far anyway. So that's not too bad. Yeah, we can live with that. And from underneath, you get the idea that will fit around that nice and snug. And this will fit around that once I've got this trimmed around here to suit. But uh, yeah, we can do something with that. Brilliant. So the next stage, let's uh, bump our shapes into that. All right, to do that, I use this because the hole, the bumps are where those holes are. So we'll line that up with our edge there. Basically, and make a mark where the centre is. The bumps are. All we're going to do is hold that in place. It's got a magnet involved to help us hold things in place. And bump away. a little bit of a bump we can clean that up afterwards right next one oh, that one's a bit neater all right the other one just there Right, well it needs a bit of tidying up, but uh, that's the kind of the idea. That's a little bit better, it's not perfect. Let's see if we can get those a little bit more defined. Right, we can live with that. Let's go scribe it up for the car. From this side, I'm going to slit along there and then hold it up and put this to where it needs to go because there is a there is a shape on this that we need to, to follow. So I think that's going to be the simpler way of doing that. Right, so that's that slit along there. We can now move, move this around to suit ourselves. So I'll stick it back on the car now and see what shapes we need to make out of it. So already you can see that is a better fit. And from this side all we need to do now is grab our flange and pull it up to the shape we need it. He says. And then tack that into position where it needs to be. I get a I get a clamp on that to make sure that's tighter. But then we can tack all this in here now, and then we know that's going to be a nice fit there. We're way over here than we need to be, so we're probably sort of cutting it around here somewhere when, once we find out where it's where the fit is nice and snug. That's that all tacked up with the welder. That's looking a bit more presentable. We'll try this on the car now and see how much of it we need to cut off or we don't need. Right, so we've got that trimmed to a size that we can work with. Um, so what I'll do now is trim these flanges down to suit. And I think I'll go ahead and weld that into position and then we'll start working on the inner piece. Right, that's now smothered in the weld through primer. And... 
little so there so got some uh, plug welds really drilled out and under here too and prime it up or wire brushed up with the uh, the, inst the tool of instant death and regret so that's all ready to go let's get this into position I'm going to fully weld around inside there now and that will give enough strength to get it on the rotisserie when I got it on the rotisserie I will then come back and fully weld the other side because you don't want the grit and rain going in underneath there so you don't leave that void either Right, so what we got now is a strengthening piece fabricated that will fit in there. I did intend to butt up to that and come from there, but what I think I'll do is fully weld that round and overlap this. Come yeah, on, overlap this both sides. So it's a nice double skin and then sort of stitch weld across there. So that's super strong. Fully weld that, fully weld that. Happy days. That's some good strength back in that section there then. Right, I've been waiting for the paint to dry on me on this piece here. I've cleaned this up, which is a bit of floor I cut out. And apart from a little bit of surface corrosion, it's actually not too bad. So that's good news. It looks, it looks a lot worse than it actually is, but uh, so you may get a new piece of that. It's, it's uh, strong enough to go back in the car and be treated, so happy days. Right, so this piece, I've uh, been messing about with the vise just to put a little bit of a pinch on the, either end. So that way, it will now fit quite nicely into there, I think maybe the other way around. And that now slots in very snugly into there. I can now weld that along there, along there, and, and put a couple of stitches across there. into there that's all nice and strong so no worries about the strength of that so I'll give that a coat of primer now and get the floor back in place I know piece of floor going back in like I said it looks a lot worse than it is 
so we should be okay with reinstating this. And I'll start with tacking this back in here. the copper behind there because we're, uh, we're burning through a bit too easily. encouragement down shall go Tack this now with the uh, the wire wheel and give us a coat of paint and that's the job done. I may just touch the tops of these off just to knock the heads off them, but uh, I'm not going to worry too much about how that looks. It'll be under carpet. Right, there you go, all painted up and looking well, looking repaired. I don't say looking fabulous, but it's looking repaired. And again, needs finishing off underneath here, but. I'll come back to that once we're uh, 
upon the rotisserie. Right, well, thank you for watching, if you're still still with us at this point. Um, so you saw that it was a fairly straightforward repair, nothing too exciting about it. Um, attack from the top down, work from the bottom back up again. Happy days. Uh, the good news is, after having another good look at the rear of the car, the the the, the bit the, the spring hang, hanger itself is in good order, and I don't think I need to take that apart or take it off the car or rebuild it or make a new one like I did for the other side. It just needs a little bit of patching up. There's, I think, the inner section of it uh, needs replacing, but that's that's something that I can do on the car. I don't need to take cut it off to do it off the on the car. Um, and that would be easier with the car rolled on its side. So that's the next job. We're going to build a rollover jig.